Ken Gregory of No Wave says they soon will be working with licensed cannabis growers across the state to bring their crop here. Uh, so at this point, they have to uh, partner with a processor to be able to extract and, uh, and make uh, edibles or tinctures or uh, cartridges uh, for the rec marijuana program. That's in a nutshell what Gregory and his gang will make. What they'll make here and a handful of other legal plants across the state will be tested through and through. So the intention is to understand what you're putting in, um, whether it is uh, exact potency content or uh, if there is pesticides or chemical contaminants. Yeah. Because the stuff off the street or from unlicensed places, well, you just don't know what's in it. You're going to have a much better experience with a product if you know the lab test results. And with a core group of about 30 employees, this company has the potential to add about 100 more jobs to the local economy. Uh, it just all depends on how fast the dispensaries grow. Brian Lane is the compliance officer at No Wave. He says the marijuana industry will bring in billions for New York. The anticipated revenue of this state is about nine billion dollars at its peak. This building is the new intended home for New Wave. That move will hopefully come next month. Once they approve everything, we'll move all of our operations in this building. And if all checks out, no way we'll have their grand opening in, in October at that facility. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. No Wave currently operates off of Beale Road in Rochester. That new facility is on Trade Court.